so hello all we are going to study about the chapter getting to know plants this is of the sixth class standard and this will be coming in the exam book so introduction is there there are so many types of plants like ro- uh, herbs shrubs and trees and there are also weeds so in the plant system there are roots stem leaf and some parts of leaf and when uh, and the uh, leaf venation so uh, let us talk about the flowers and fruits of it and birds i view and and some we have given the soil examples also so here we go plants grow well on land and in water it has been said that there are about 2 million 50000 types of plants these are divided into two types flowering plants and non flowering plants so like these can also be uh, divided into many groups subgroups like rose sunflower and etc etc and so here we get to the system of the trees herbs and shrubs so parameters are their size and what are the nature of them and some examples of them so herbs herbs are very small and uh, less than 1 meter and shrubs are medium sized 1 to 2 m 3 meter high yeah trees are very tall more than 3 meters high like you can see the people tree in front of our house also you can have it and there are some mango trees also plane trees also and neem trees also so these were some examples of the uh, trees and there is another type of plant that is different from herbs shrubs and trees these uh, are plant these are plants with weak stems that can't stand straight example strawberry melon mint and are called creepers so guys if there are more types of plants like creepers and climbers uh, other climb up with the help of support for example grape one pea money plant and gourd so as you can see watermelon is a creeper and in the and the figure 2 if, if this is a climber we can name them uh i don't know its name so it's a climber so here we come have you seen gardeners meticulously digging and taking out some small plants from between of the grass in a lawn and throwing them out yeah you have not i know or you have you can comment in the comment box so these are these can also be called as weeds so guys Uh, these weeds are very small and unwanted plants and we don't want them to uh, the tend to grow in the lawns or pots and crop fields they complete with the main plant of for nutrition the root A mustard plant will have a main root. Like there are two types of root: tap root and lateral root. So tap root. Uh, 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 so uh, we have uh, lateral roots. Like it has, as you can see, uh, as you can see, uh, it has a uh, main root that is uh, called tap root. This is called the tap root, and some uh, and some lateral roots are coming out of it this is a uh, so this is a lateral roots and as you can as you can see down there are fibrous roots uh, in a grass plant a number of fi- uh, like you can see there i will not explain that much this is a tap root in a vegetable and this is in a grass as you can see so many are coming out of one place only but there is a main root 
from which there one two three four like that is coming so function of the root prevent soil erosion like when we pull out the uh, when the gardeners pu pull out the uh, like tomato like potatoes uh, from the ground it is very hard so as you can see uh, they stop from the soil erosion uh, there are some types of uh, plants like as you can see uh, like carrots as you can see the pictures below radish and everything like that uh, so uh, like you eat uh, uh, tomatoes uh, carrots radish and uh, potatoes at your home so these are the modifications of it and uh, you uh, you eat the stored food uh, of the plants roots are modified to store foods uh, as i can say, uh, i said that roots are swollen due to the storage of food which part of the plants are these these are the roots as you can see uh, this is uh, in the ground this is this is the plant of the carrot my drawing is not good i know that <laughs> so this is the uh, root and as you can see guys this is a lateral root and uh, sometimes you see there are some fibers like things on the uh, above of the carrot that are the as you can say uh, that are the lateral roots okay roots are modified to give extra support as you can see in the banyan tree uh, prop roots give us support and uh, stops us from uh, stops it from falling like you can see in a banyan tree uh, there are not uh, that much support in the ground as on the trees so fixation nitrate of nitrate plants like peas beans groundnuts moong and urad have small swellings on their root which are called nodules these nodules contain rhizopium bacteria that fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil in the form of nitrogenous compounds and thus make the soil fertile yes now next is the breeding roots mangroves plants grow in salt lakes and marshy area like as you can see in the uh, these are also like some uh, weeds they develop specialized roots called i can't read this <laughs> uh, yes these can also be called as breeding root or uh, pneumatophorus so uh, oh, i can, i think i pronounced it good so so guys if you uh, if you think that i didn't pronounce it good so you can tell me how it's pronounced is that the big banyan tree in the indian botanical garden near kolkata has more than 900 prop roots they support the youth canopy of branches uh, guys this will come in your exam and you can just note it somewhere yeah <laughs> desert plants have long roots to penetrate penetrate deep into the soil in search of water who knew this that like the cactus are there so my drawing is not good please don't go on that yeah cactus is there so when the roots go inside it they go to search the water and these are fibrous and lateral roots too there are so many types of cactus so they have another other types of yeah so second parts of the plant the stems so let's see what is there in the stem stem is usually above the ground as you can see <laughs> as you can see in a uh, rose as you can see in a rose this is a stem yeah you have seen a stem i know that it may be green soft or furry it has number of nodes and internodes and bare branches leaves flower and fruit the stem of the tree is known as a trunk like big trees are there so this is a trunk in between the owl sleeps <laughs> yeah most of the sun comes into the yeah like uh, there are some uh, coats like uh, you have seen in the botanical forest 
and you have seen uh, the brown are made uh, are, are called as bark too so as we go further the small outgrowths on the st uh, stem of a plant are called buds so uh, uh, guys i am coming in a minute So as you can see guys, functions of stems are, uh, the stem keeps the plants upright, like as you can see if there is no stem, the rose plant will fall on the ground, yeah, it will be a so many type of things, like the flowers, <sighs> roots, leaves, flowers and etc etc, yeah, like st uh, uh, stems transport uh, water through the root like as you can see so i'll see uh, i'll show you inside the i'll try to show you inside the this also i'm trying to make so i can yeah so this uh, sends water through this pipeline uh, in the in the roots so there are some uh, transporting uh, uh, lines inside the stems modification of the stems are stems are modified to give support like if we look yeah. carefully at the gold or the grape uh, grape wine and passion uh, flower plant you uh, we can find that all of them have weak stems like we can also uh, see the uh, net like things inside those flowers that are that are also called tendrils now stems are modified to store food like uh no i was wrong guys like uh, potato does not store any of the uh, food inside the root it stores inside the stem and the same as the ginger also does stems are modified to make food a cactus plant grows in deserts where there are there is very little water like uh, there is very little water uh, so camel also drinks less water so that is also no what she has to do so if he, that makes its leaves into spines to uh, make the water loss very small and uh, it has very long long type of roots that go in the that go in the surface and find the water i also told some uh, modifications of the cactus also that can help you in the other uh, subjects also so now we came to leaf. <sighs> leaf is a flattened, three, thin, and green lateral structure attached to the st stem. As you know, guys, it is type of a kitchen of the plant. It has chlorophyll in it. It has chlorophyll in it. Light, as you can see. Uh, some pores are there uh, that are called stomata. Inside it, there is chlorophyll. Uh, by that, it is uh, it is there is food made, and it is also called the kitchen of the plant. Okay, now see guys, this is important for you all. But now these are the plants of the leaf. You can I'll share this uh, PDF with you as a link. So. Here it is the diagram and as you can see I am uh, outlining it also. So this is a tip as you can see this is a peach here but your teacher can give it and inside part of this is a lamina and this string thing is a vein, vein as you can see and uh, the outlining of it is a margin as you can see margin and see um, like our we have uh, uh, our backbone. So
so it also has a backbone that is called midrib and so now we have venation there are two types of venation reticulate as you can see reticulate and parallel venation this is very important guys when the veins form a net like pa pattern on the lamina like guys uh, as as you already learned uh, in the first slide that let me just scroll up take a minute okay yeah the uh, first is a tap root and the second is a fibrous root uh, as you can see tap root has one line and some uh, uh, you already know that so i don't have to explain that again let's take you back to the that thing yeah so we uh, reticulate venation is in the tap root uh, the plants like this as you can see i'm trying to make some drawing so and parallel venation like this is the reticulate venation that is in the tap root tap root as you know and this is in the parallel venation that is in the fibrous root go forward uh, veins run parallel to the guys you can just note down these points in your notebook uh, or pause the video over here and just continue after you have done so uh, f functions of the leaf manufacture food like it is done by the photosynthesis as you all know uh, sunlight as you all know and provide energy to the plant for making the food a uh, plant uh, the plant food is a kind of a simple sugar called glucose guys uh, as you know uh, like when uh, when your health is not good your mom gives you glucose so glucose is the instant energy and uh, it can also be used and it is used in the process of photosynthesis it is made by the photosynthesis kind of yes so glucose is made for the change into starch and then the uh, before the plant stores it and uh, the star the like uh, fruits roots or stems that we eat uh, it stores the starch so starch is important for humans too humans too yeah. like as you can see in the cactus plant it does not have any leaves because it gives out water and it is called transpiration so it helps in pulling down the leaves uh, it also has another important function as the better i mean uh, as the water uh, is uh, as the water escapes from the leaves the roots pull more water to compensate for this loss this water brings with it important nutrients required by the plant from the soil guys sorry i am just taking break in the between to drink water <laughs> yeah modifications of the leaves leaves are modified to give support like if we examine a pea or a glorisia plant carefully like like you can see uh, jaise uh, you have upper uh, leaf la leaf leaves or you can see is like this the uh, leaf tendril of glorisia it has upper leaf effects this is a upper leaf effect uh aur jaise uh, aap hidli mein keh sakte hain muda hua aur and and are modified into tendrils tendrils as you know uh is in the uh, is in the stems also and in the leaves also a tendril coil around object to give uh, support to the plant 
Yes. Today I'll modify it into spines. As you can see, leaf spines and cactus. Yes. Uh, in cactus, leaves are modified to form spines. Yeah, as I told, to reduce the water loss. Yeah. Reproduction. plants such as brophyllum and begonia buds buds develop on the leaf like as you can see this uh, uh, these are the leaf buds as you can see um, yeah this is the leaf bud let it load yeah this is a leaf bud and it comes on the brophyllum uh, type of plant so next is storage of food uh, like uh, in some plants, leaves are modified uh, to store food. These leaves become thicky and fleshy. For example, onion. Who knew it was a leaf? But we got to know that this is a leaf by some time. Food storage in modified leaves of onion. It is also called a bulb. So this is a stem of, a, of it. And uh, storage leaves are these. Uh, it stores the part where the food is stored uh, flower and fruit come now so uh, yeah here we go we have a uh, some structure of tropical flowers so uh, guys uh, don't read the above part just uh, get to get to uh, if you have time to read the above part also because it tells ab ab us about the male and the female part of the plant too. A typical flower has a uh, stalk called pedicel. Like it joins it to the stem uh, as you can see in the uh, this. This is a pedicel. Yes, this is a pedicel. Yeah, this is a pedicel. It, it is joining it from the plant. I mean from the stem. Yeah. The uppermost part of the pedicel is wider and is known as the what what is it called? Helena. Helena. What am I doing? Helena. So uh, as you can see, where is the Helena? Helena. 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 We don't uh, have it in the in this. Uh, thing. Yes. On top of the thalamus, the different parts of the fl uh, flowers are in, in the ring or hole or hall. You note this thing guys, the parts are in rings or halls. Some flowers don't have a pedicel and they are called sessile flowers. Guys, this is an, uh, more information about, uh, this is an extra, extra. If you have to note it, note it. If don't, then don't. So, the outermost ho uh, hall consists of a green leaf-like structure called sepals. These protect the flower when, when it is still a bird. Like, as you can see what we are talking about, we are talking about the sepals. So, these are the sepals. Yeah, this is a sepal. This is a sepal. This is a this is a sepal, this is a sepal. Like this plant has five, five, five sepals. It protected it while it's on the bud. If we remove the petals, we can see the main parts of the flower. And uh, and the thin green stalk or filament with a bag-like head called called is the anther. The anther contains pollen grains uh, which are yellow, fine dust particles and fine dust particles as you can see. You can mark, you can mark these points. Uh, in the center of the flower rises a flower shaped structure called the pistil or carpal. As you can see as I told there are male and the female part of the flower too. Pistil uh, is uh, or the carpal is known as the female part. Oh. 
uh, as its uh, bottom part uh, part is swollen and is called the ovary as you can see uh, this is the ovary uh, this is swollen and uh, uh, and wide uh, the short tube like upper part is a style and above it is the stigma so as you can see where is the stigma there, is, there it is the stigma over here over here this is the stigma yeah oh. yeah yes i'll be sharing this uh, pdf in the uh, comment in description also and pollination the pollen grain are transferred from the anther to the stigma as you can see uh, it is transferred from the male part to the uh, uh, to the stigma that receive the pollen grain from the anther as you can see we are getting to know by here also. inside the ovary a small bead like structure called ovules ovules are also a part of the this uh, pollination yeah the uh, so uh, this uh, transferring of uh, pollen grain pollen grain from anther to stigma is called as a pollination uh, whether of the same kind or whether from the other the type kind Going. So guys, we are done with the whole chapter. As you can see, it was very easy studying with me. So, can you prefer like a little subscribe on our channel because we have only 4 subscribers and those are my all accounts. So, <laughs> so, so guys, if this video reaches 4 like 20 or 25 likes, I'll be doing another kind of video on living and non-living organism and on living and uh, li and their surround living things and their surrounding. I'll be doing a video on that. So you can uh, see that also, guys. And prefer to subscribe, please, because this video takes too much long. Bye, guys.